Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I just want to say thank you for coming to my channel and also for a happy new year. This is the last day of Kwanzaa, which is the Imani, and then pretty much last day, of, last day of Kwanzaa, you have it where pretty much it's about a faith. And um, I'm going to talk to you today about something that's kind of like new because today, not only is it the first day of the year, it's also the last day of the copyright on uh, Mickey Mouse's um Mickey Mouse's uh you know um Steamboat Willie. So I'm going to actually make a I'm going to make a video for you guys, so you get a couple of to see that. But for the most part, I'm just going to get this gremlin out of the way. And so pretty much, I'm going to go ahead and just talk with you a little bit about what's going on today. So I want to just kind of say um, a few things. This is kind of a newer thing for me, a very interesting thing for me, because I've never experienced a situation. Well, I mean, I, I guess the Winnie the Pooh thing, but I never got a chance to actually think about something that, that's kind of cool. But um, the fact of the matter is that you have the whole thing with the steamboat and the um, the mouse and his um, his opportunity to be able to do something with, um, an, uh, I see, a, a cop once copyrighted thing, now it's an uh, open source thing, which is really ironic. But for the most part, we're going to have a little discussion about that. So shall we? I'm going to go ahead and flip it over to my other other screen for you to see. And the other screen for you to see is that, um, you know, pretty much I have some of these things here. Or if you wonder about the animation on the side, which is over that, that way, well, I guess it's actually that way. The animation is that way. What happens is that it's just pretty much some of the, um, I'm doing some of the, the work with the, um, uh, what do you call it, the uh, do a DoorDash and everything like that. And so I'm always kind of put together some kind of like a cool artwork for you. So I just wanted to let you see that and how that works out there. But for the most part, though, this is, um, this is how it was before. I'm just going to show you that one. This is the one that I just worked on the other day. I just wanted to let you see it. And what it is, just kind of show you a fly through the city. And that's how it is pretty much driving uh, DoorDash. You're kind of just driving a lot. But I'll tell you more about that in a little bit. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, this is what I want to share with you. I want to share with you about the, this. <clears throat> this is how the elite role. Let's count the hidden agendas. There's many, many hidden agendas in these. Um, um, when you look at the situation with um, with uh, Disney, uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just show you a couple of things with that. And so I'm just going to go ahead and just make sure I had this all like lined up here so you can see it. So what we're going to do, I'm actually going to have a, um, we'll have a uh, counter type thing, you know, and what we're going to do, I'm going to go ahead and just put a counter so you guys can see how many times they have the little hints and agendas in this. So what, without further ado, just go ahead and watch the video. And as we watch the video, we're going to go ahead and just, uh, just be able to, you know, just see the different things here. So I got music on it. So let's go ahead and watch and let's count the hidden agendas that are written in the Disney um, Steamboat Willie's video. Let's go ahead and do that. You know, first and foremost, I just want to stop for a second. When I was watching this right the very first time, um, I said to myself, you know, this is something I've seen every single time. Whenever the Disney movie starts, every Disney movie starts, like, you know, um, anything, they always have this opening scene, you know? And I always found it kind of interesting because I was like, okay, it's a, it's a riverboat, you know? And you have this thing here. This is like my favorite scene I see there. And I look at that and I'm like, oh my goodness, this is incredible. Hold on a second. I have to change some of the settings on this here real quick. My filters are kind of messed up. Let me get rid of some of the filters. Let me get, 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 get rid of that filter. Get, get, rid of, get rid of that filter right there. Okay, close. So now the filters are better. All right, here we go. Go ahead and proceed. So we have this here. And what you have here is him singing and him dancing and all that. And the thing was the matter was like, he's driving the ship, you know? And so I'm like, okay, he's definitely driving the ship. So. See, now this part I did not know. I did not know that he actually was um, not in control of the ship. I always thought that it was his ship because like the whole thing, every time you've ever seen, you've seen Aladdin, you've seen every single Disney movie when they have this new introduction, they have that. I didn't know that it wasn't his ship. So this guy here is not the villain. He's just the owner of the ship. He's actually the real sea captain, you know? So that's right here. You got to first the disrespect. Let's go ahead and count it. Let's go do it. First, he got disrespect. So that's actually one is a disrespect, right? Because he did it behind his back, right? That's count number one. First, a disrespect. Let's go. Let's go. Let's see what we have here. And let's go. Keep going. Right. So we have. Yep. There he goes. And so. You know, that's. So there you have it. That's the second one. Let's go ahead and count it what it is. That's the second one. Let's put it there. So let's go ahead and find out where the first two was. The first two was number one is property theft. 
property theft. You know, one thing Disney is good for is property theft, you know? Well, they have a way to take it from the domain. I mean, how many of us know the real story of the Little Mermaid? If you think about it, how many of us really know that real story? Because in the end of the real story of the Little Mermaid, she dies. She doesn't get accomplished to be with Prince Eric. No, no, no. She ends up being um, Seafoam. She actually dies at the end of, um, of a Little Mermaid. And um, Pinocchio, he also dies too. And pretty much everybody in every story, every Disney story was taken and they, they died. So for the most part, that's one. The second one is this one. Uh, I want to point it out to you. It's uh, animal abuse. You're going to see a lot of that. So I'm going to go ahead and just gonna keep it going and you'll see. So, so here it is. He can't deal with the fact that he stole somebody else's thing. So he takes it out on a lesser life form. So he goes out and he does a thing on a lesser life form. This one here is interesting. The whole thing about like a tobacco. A bite of tobacco. Yeah. I have nothing to say about that. I think tobacco is horrible. But there he is. You know, this guy is just doing his thing, steering his boat. In the swim. Got nothing against that. Yep. Finds the amusement in the simple things. He's not abusing anybody. Nope, he's not. But anyway, nevertheless. So next up, we got this one here. That is market. Now, see, in the very corner, right? I gotta make it bigger for you to see. Very corner. Zoom it up for you. Right there, it says Po Dunk Landing. Boat tickets, Po Dunk Landing, right? I was like, what is a Po Dunk Landing all about? But you know what? Just, just gonna put it right back there. Okay, just, just put it right back there for you. Just so you see that Po Dunk Landing. So, right, that's one. So it's two. That's two counts, right? Right, so it's two counts. Let's go ahead. <laughs> If you look very carefully, you can actually see the uh, the, the, the name tag disappear for a second. You didn't see it? Okay, I'll just put my little thing. You can actually see the name tag disappear for one one hundredth of a second. My son pointed that. Yep, see it? You saw it? Okay, cool. It doesn't count against me. So you have a cow. And so you have this thing here. Now, I'm not sure if the intention here or what it is, but you know, there is no manifest. There's nobody sitting there with a checkpoint, checkbook or anything like that, or there's a manifest thing. I just see a mouse coming over and pretty much killing the cow. Again, that goes back to property theft. That goes back to another cow. Count three. Uh, that's count three. Property theft. And see, this is also right here is something because it's like when you think about it. This is how they, they do it. The, uh, the hidden agendas. You have that where they do the cows. They uh, overstuff the cow, you know, so they can actually be bigger. They do that. They do that for the turkeys. They do that for the frog rock, with the, uh, the duck. And here you have introduction to mini. I like how it makes the sound whenever she walks. See that that right there, my friend? That's what you would call um, I'd call that innuendo, because you know everybody always talks about the mini skirts and what mini skirts are about. And here you have this where it actually kind of does this thing here. You know, now I I'm just not gonna say what it is. I'm just gonna like say allude to it. But see, pretty much you have that where it's you know, I mean, there's a million other ways they could have done this. They could have. I'm gonna do it through the underpants. Okay. All right, so we have that. Here also something that caught my attention, right? Let's see right here. Let's see turkey in the straw. Hey, hey. So I mean that's nothing bad, by the way. That's nothing bad. I just wanted to kind of point it out to you. Turkey in the straw, right? It's kind of there. But it was one of the things that is gonna set up my next point of view right here, which is gonna be um did I already give a one for the count? I think yeah, I give a count for that. Okay, I'll give another one for that one. That was uh, for the in the window. That's a uh, four. Four counts of agenda. Uh, I want to see things that are forbidden, I guess, right? And then things like that. So this one here about the goat with the goat. I just want to show you about the goat. Here, the goat. It pretty much eats the paper. No problem. No problem. Realizing what they did. Uh huh. Pretty much. So I, I the thought about bringing um, Minnie Mouse on board to the ship, right? Without the sea captain knowing, it's it's I don't know. There's something there. 
it kind of gives you the heebie-jeebies. It's, I mean, I'm not sure if this is a kid's cartoon, but, you know, I give it an account because what happens is, like, you have this scenario where it's, like, you know, that's, that's something that, you know, you're sneaking somebody on board, you know, and it already got down to the underwear level already about stuff. I'm just, like, you know, I just, you know, I'm, I'm not going to say much, but that's something there. And I don't imply nothing, but that's that's kind of crazy if you ask me. Let me make it a little bigger right here, okay? So you can see it better. Let's go ahead and proceed. What else we have here is this. This here. Okay, now this one here, you have to kind of read into this one, right? Or I'm going to read into this one because that's more fun to do, to read into it. Because when you, like, read into this, it's actually a thing here. This one here, um, this one's, like, kind of, like, my main point I wanted to kind of stress out. Because you see right here, this goat, this goat's eating, right? And they're trying to take away something because this goat's just hungry. He's, like, he's not thinking about stuff. He's just want to eat. So, initially, the goat, all of a sudden, he just wanted to eat. The lead finds out that he's what he called is important. He says, I'm going to, I'm going to figure something out about this. Hey, come here and see this. We can find some amusement from all this. Mm -hmm. So what they do, pretty much yank his tail and turn into a crank and turn him into music. This, my friend, is what I like to call, let's see, um, I call it talent theft. Why I call it talent theft? Because it's taking something that they didn't make on purpose and then now they're using it to make themselves happy. I tell you, these are, these, these, these are elite. Okay, so that's six things, six counts. Talent theft, right? And the talent theft, what that ties into, we're going to get back to it in a little bit, but let's go ahead and just keep going. So you have talent theft. You have, you have, um, let's see, virtually a property theft because he tries to steal a guy's boat and steer whatever he wants to. The guy said, nope. Animal abuse, when he gets upset, he just beats up animals. But it's pretty much talent theft because now they have the thing where the goat is, um, you know, just kind of making music. It wasn't intentional, but it used something that was like, you know, his, um, his, um, they use his uh, abilities you know, to be a goat to not make music and entertain themselves with it. And not to mention just innuendos. There are innuendos. But for the most part, just... so here got, he goes there. So in the, in the process of being entertained, he says, let me just go ahead and again, another property theft. Again. You know, because he's supposed to be working, right? He is supposed to be working on what he's doing. He's just, he's just playing around. And brought his girlfriend on board. You know, he's supposed to be working. He's, he's one of the deckhands, you know, taking his girlfriend on board, you know, and, and just making animals in the musical instrument. Yep. You know, there's nothing wrong with this right here except the fact that he's supposed to be working. You know, just going from the boss. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 So we have. Now you have this poor unsuspecting cat, right? He's kind of, he just, see that? He's, he's, he's stepping on the cat's back. See, do you see this? You see that he is stepping on the cat's back. I want to make it go up instead. You see that? He's stepping on the cat. He has foot on the cat back. And he's smiling. The cat's in pain, yelling meow, right? And so the dog doesn't know his turn is next. So he's all smiling along with it too. Because what happened? They'll use any means. Because what happens? You see these guys, they're wearing pants, right? They're wearing pants. And when these animals are wearing pants, these, these mice and these cats are wearing pants, it gives them almost a the right to kind of squish on and to beat up other creatures, you know? And what ends up happening is that that kind of ties into the next point I want to say, which is like, you know, here you have it where this thing's going on. You have this thing where these poor creatures are being used, you know, for the amusement of the elite. So here you have it, you know, this mouse representing the elite. Look at it, swings the cat by the tail. That's like, okay, that's like, what, that's 10? So that was like count one for the abuse of the cat, right? And then one for the, uh, the fact that he's swinging the cat by his tail. That's just, you know, you can't do that today, my friends. You can't go swinging a cat by its tail. No, you can't. So what happens is that you have that swinging the cat by its tail. You see his face? Now, he's like, I'm done. I'm, I'm going to do something with this duck, right? My friends, I'm not even going to talk to you about what this is. I mean, just, he's, he's just, I'm, I'm not going to say it, okay? I'm not even going to say it. Just, just, just look for yourself. See what he's, look for yourself. See what he's doing. See what he's doing to that duck. Oh, my goodness. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yup. music you know i always I have, a, I, have a, I have a theory on this i have a theory on this right this, this mickey mouse guy now i'm not going to assume that all kind of evil i mean we kind of already have but for the most part that the part i want to kind of bring to your attention is that you know back to the whole uh, goose thing it's almost as if there's kind of like a pleasure they get in the pain that we express you know because i mean these these, these the, the, the goat was uh, the goat was minding his business looking for some food the cat was minding his business just kind of meow and doing this meow thing right then you have the goose which is kind of bopping to the music you know, just kind of bopping the music no, no, he's an agent of chaos. That Mickey Mouse right there, you see him? He's an agent of chaos. He's just like, you know, he's like just out there to kind of make some trouble and do some things because he's like, you know, he's an agent of chaos, you know? So, 
So there he is. The little pigs are happy, having a good day, having a little bit of milk. No, no, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna go ahead and pull their tail. I don't know about you. I pull my tail. I don't, I don't like that. One bit. Nope, not one bit. We have that. And the, the bird is all happy, not knowing what's coming for him is coming soon. All right, so we have that. See, again, the cow's just enjoying his life, eating some cud, or enjoying her life, eating some cud, just chewing up, chewing up, chewing up, and then you gotta go and just, just ruin things. You gotta go ahead there and mess with the situation. You see what I'm saying? This, this is where it's not right. Not right, what are you doing? You know, just interrupting people's situation. You know, he's just going there doing his thing. You know, he's just, 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 just. Nope, nope, nope. Nope, 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 nope. nope. Mm -mm. You see that? Finally, he gets it. Right? His boss is safe. What are you doing? You're just fooling around. Yes? You're fooling around. I'm gonna give you a job to do. You can't do any more harm. Yep. Right next. I'm gonna pay it. Okay, now. Uh, before we go on, I just want to give you one more point, too. I mean, animal abuse thing there. I want to just kind of point out this one here. This one here kind of just the Mickey Mouse Club. You see, if you look at all the stuff, you got the property theft, you got animal abuse, you got the talent theft, you got the Indian wonder, you got the Mickey Mouse Club. That's what it is. See, and if you think about it, everything that happened from the time the goat went forward, and the goat was making his music. They used the music from the goat, my friend. Music from the goat. The fact that the goat ate some food, right? Ate the music. And they used that music to entertain themselves at a goat's dispense. Because now the goat has, like, what? It has wires in his stomach. It's got a whole, like, banjo. It's not a banjo, it's a violin. And they're just yanking his tail. So they have tail damage that's going to have to happen from that. It's going to have to, the fact that how it's going to pass all that, have to digest all that wood and that metal, you know? And they just doing it for amusement. And then after that, a poor cat got involved. And then a duck got involved, and then a pig got involved, and baby pigs and piglets, and then you have um, the um, the cow's teeth were being like played, you know, just for the amusement of the elite. Because those that walk upright and wear the pants, they are over, they are oppressing the poor. You can see that. You can actually see that in this one here. So now he's going to the, go peel some potatoes. And here you have it. Here he goes. Mm-hmm. See now, the whole thing about potato peeling, I mean, where does it come from? That's like saying, like, you know, the way he peels it is terrible, by the way. It's just, it's just, it's terrible high potato peeling. Right? And this poor bird just seeing that, oh man, you know, you're going through some stress. Let me just sing a song for you. Let me just laugh a little bit. Hey, don't be so sad. And he does. Boom. He hits it again. Hits that what he calls it. That's what he calls it. Poor creature. So. Now, I'm going to throw 11 in there because 11 is kind of the count, but I'm thinking there's actually probably 12 because I think it's something to do with potatoes and the Irish people because, you know, they always have something about potatoes and Irish people. So I'm going to throw it out there. And my wife is Irish. You know, you know that. So for the most part, though, it's like, you know, one of the things like um, Irish and American. For the most part, though, um, I want to say that that's one of the things that I noticed about these things. I noticed that I, I give it 12 counts of violation of hidden agendas because, you know, Disney itself went out to go and copy a lot of people's work, a lot copy a lot of people's work, and they made money. So now it's their turn to have their money be taken from, and they don't like that. Like most corporations, when it's their turn to actually, you know, go through stuff, it, they don't like that too much. They just go and end it through that thing. And now he goes ahead and laughs at the misfortune of others. Laughs at the misfortune of others. So I'd give that 13. Let's count 13 on that one, baby. Laughs at the misfortune of others. So yes. So. You have the laughing of the misfortune of others. You got property tap. You got like that. And what is going to be the pretty much, I just want to go ahead and share with you. The top line is oppressing the lower class. This is what this really is. A video explaining the oppression of the lower class. My friends. It really is. If you really think about it, kind of boil it all down from the very beginning to the very end. It's a it's an oppression of the lower class. It's oppression from the time he stole it. He's taken the man's ship. You know, his man is a hardworking man. He just comes on board and wants to play. He beats up the man's parrot. He goes ahead. He you know just the guy doesn't have another problem there or whatever. He goes in. He goes in. He just um takes a cow. They don't check the manifest. The cow's just waiting there. They fed up the cow. So he got like a you know got a better cow. Got a got a gimp cow because the cow was just, you know filled with whatever you know just fill it with hay to fatten it up. And pretty much get his girlfriend. I would call him a hooker in the underpants, of course. And then pretty much just a goat and eats her music. And they use that incidentally. They eat her music. And they turn the goat into, into a commodity. That's like the Mickey Mouse Club, right? They're turning into a commodity. See that? They're, they're dancing for the sake of fun, to dance at the expense of someone else's misfortune, as you can see. Then they go off and tell some more details. They 
go and they play some music and then get other people attracted to it. And then from there, start grabbing some cats, start squishing some cats, start pulling cat by the tail, swinging it around, got a duck by the neck. The duck is minding his business. The duck ain't happy. See that duck is not happy. The duck is screaming in mercy, screaming in pain, and pretty much to go ahead and just pull a little baby piglet tail to make some music for himself. The bird's happy. You know, he's kind of seen this and trying to make sense of it all. Now understand it is next. Then you got to take the teeth and mess the whole teeth up with the creature because you know what? Cows don't have teeth on the top, it's on the bottom. But he plays music on his teeth and, his, you know, and then realizing that he's been slacking on the job, he goes to peel potatoes and he doesn't want to do any work. So instead of like, you know, say, hey man, thanks for the good time. So yeah, I'll give you a good time. All right. Hits him in the head with a potato. Hits him with a potato. And then he laughs. Yep. The mouse. No joke, my friends. No joke. That's all I want to share with you today, my friend, because that's 13 counts. That's 13 counts of the oppression of the lower class right there. So just because they're wearing pants, just because they have these things going on, they're willing to go ahead and oppress another class lower than them. You see that. My friends, I want to say thank you so much for watching my show today. I want you to understand that you too can, um, can be wise in this world, but definitely don't take advantage of other people, okay? Just make sure people get their fair share. See, because, I mean, you could boil it down several different ways, but you see the different things they had in there. They had different things. Again, just for you, you didn't see it the first time, 13 counts, about 13 counts of... Um, of, of, of some kind of oppression, the oppressing the lower class, 13 counts, property theft, animal abuse, talent theft, innuendos, lots of them, um, and the Mickey Mouse Club. That's the ultimate in terms of what they've done to us. This is how the elite rolls. Let's count the hidden agendas. That's how many hidden agendas I, I found, were at least 13. Right? So I just want to say thank you so much for watching my show tonight. Um, pretty much just, you know, it's a, it's a pleasure to have you here with me, and I want to wish you a happy new year. You know, and do whatever you like with the, the, the not so much do whatever you like with the um, Mickey Mouse stuff, but you can actually do some cool stuff with it. Hopefully they don't do like more, um, they don't do more um, um, like, you know, slasher movies like they did with the Piglet thing, but maybe they can do some really cool videos. And things. That might be a really cool thing to actually have where people can actually see. So again, I just say thank you so much. I wish you all the best. God bless you. And I'm going to upload this. I'm looking forward to uploading this. It's going to be great. Hopefully you see it today. All right. God bless you. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. See you guys. Oh, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. I really wish you all the best. All right. God bless you. And have a good night.